In this lecture, we're going to build another view struct, but this time it is going to be for a page template. So we are going to have multiple pages that have the same template that we just automatically fill with different data. So we'll build a view to represent a page that is other than the home page. Before we jump into this video, go to training.mammothinteractive.com. Here you can sign up for the Mammoth Unlimited membership and get access to all of the courses we've ever created. That's over 2,000 hours of content. For that, let's open our left sidebar and that will open up the file hierarchy for this project. We have our multi-page app and our content view. I'm going to create another file for my page view. So you can right click on the project folder and select new file. Then here you'll be prompted to select the template for your file. We'll be using Swift UI view because we are creating a user interface view, something that is visible. Press next and then choose a name for your file. We are going to call it page view. Because it is a view type, it is convention to name it something that ends in view. And as well, make sure the target is selected for your application. That will attach the page to the app. Then press create and look at this, your new file pageview.swift will appear in your project and you can preview it because it is a view type and it says hello world by default it is just like the content view was this is the default view that is created whenever you make a swift ui view file now for organization we're going to put our views into a folder so in your project folder you can select your two files you can use FN and command to select multiple elements at once that are in different locations, which is here also just FN and command and then just hold as you select. And we can right click and then from the drop down menu that appears, we are going to select new group from selection. A group is a folder. Okay, so here we now have a new group or folder that we can call views and it's good to stay organized like this otherwise your project is harder to manage and take a look at. So now our two views are inside of this views folder. You can also create a folder just by right clicking on a folder and then selecting to create a new group and then you can drag any file you want into a folder and just drag it right out. So you can drag around different files to put them into this folder. Okay, so now we have page view, which will be our template. So let's go ahead and change this default page view to have some more content because currently it just says, hello world. Perhaps you can't even see that because it's so small. So let's increase the font size of that hello world. Onto the text object we're going to use dot font and then use the system font which is the default font and set the size to a hundred. Okay so that will just increase the font of hello world. Okay this is how you create a new view. Now instead of saying hello world we are going to show instead here the title of each of our page. So we need a placeholder for the title. Currently this just says title. Refresh your preview to see title and this is a literal string so I've just put it in double quotation marks and this is the string data type which is a series of characters, a piece of text and it's a string because I put it into double quotation marks. Now I'm going to replace this later with some data of an actual page title like home page or about us or contact us or just page one. Now this is just says title for now because I'm just using it as a placeholder until we get to the data section of this project. Okay, let's put in another piece of text that says description and let's attach the same 
size font. Now again, if you just put in two objects like this, then they'll be placed on two different screens. So if you want them to be on the same screen or the same page, then you have to put them into some kind of stack, like a vertical stack, for example. There are also horizontal stacks and Z index stacks. So you can stack elements any which way you want. Okay, we have title, we have description. We can make one font size a little bit smaller for this description. And if at any time it says it cannot preview the file, then just select try again and it will refresh. Okay, so now we have our title and our description. We can space out these two text elements by putting padding around each of the text elements just by adding dot padding like so. Okay, look at that. That is spacing out the two elements. You could put padding on one or both of the text elements. Another option is actually just to use the spacing property of a vertical stack. So you can pass properties to an element with parentheses such as a spacing property of 30. So that will automatically apply a spacing of 30 between all of the objects in the stack. All right, great. So we have a title and we have a description. We also added some spacing. Thanks for watching and don't forget to go to training.mammothinteractive.com. Here you can sign up for the Mammoth Unlimited membership where you can get access to over 350 courses that we've created.